All right, so today we're actually going to do a book haul video. Uh, I've got a large stack of horror and sci-fi to go through, so let's jump right into it. First up is Shadowland by Peter Straub. Uh, now, I've not read any of Peter Straub, so I'm not sure about this, but I do love that cover. That is a pretty cool looking cover, if I must say so myself. Next up is Cover by Jack Ketchum. Uh, if you've not read Jack Ketchum, he's a fantastic author. Uh, Girl Next Door, that's a good one. That's more comes with a warning ahead of it, though. Uh, but Red is one of my favorite Jack Ketchum books. Uh, so I'm looking forward to jumping into this one. Now, the, I don't know if this is straight horror or not, but this is Stephen King's Joyland. Uh, I had just read later earlier in the year, which I loved a lot. And so finding this was a nice uh, little bonus to find today. Uh, so if anyone's read this one, if this is as good as later or not. All right, next up is some sci-fi. So I got uh, Voyager in Night by C.J. Cherry. And I absolutely love that cover uh, of some um, blob of creatures all massed together so maybe like the thing we'll have to see how that turns out uh this is also a daw science fiction book uh so you can it's good for that and i also found another daw science fiction book which is hunters of the red moon by marion zimmer bradley and that one's also got a fun cover of some guy with a lizard man and a werewolf and a lady and looks like they're ready to head for battle so if you have any daw science fiction books those are definitely good now, I had never read a Star Trek book, but one written by Joe Haldeman, I will definitely read. Uh, he wrote Forever War, which I absolutely love, one of my favorite science fiction books. And uh, I look forward to see what he does with uh, Kirk and Spock and Bones. Looks like they're going to some planet of judgment to be judged by Joe Haldeman. I got a Frank Herbert book, The Dosadi Experiment. Uh, I don't know anything about this one. I know it's supposed to be a sequel in the series. Uh, and this one's supposed to have a lot of politics in it, like courtroom cases or something. Uh, but I do love Frank Herbert, who wrote Dune, uh, and I do love that cover. That's a very nice looking cover. Next up in uh, the Best of Soviet Science Fiction, uh, Prisoners of Power by Arkady and Boris Strugatsky. Uh, now, these Strugatsky brothers wrote some very fine science fiction books. Uh, in particular, Roadside Picnic and Hard to Be a God, which I both read and loved those immensely. Um, so yeah, definitely uh, looking forward to reading more of these guys. Also, Roadside Picnic was made into one of my favorite movies, Stalker, uh, which is a fantastic, if you like slow, boring sci-fi, then that is your jam. Uh, this is one I already owned already, but I bought it so I can put it into uh, one of those free libraries or donate it to a friend. This is the Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by Phil K. Dick, but this is the Blade Runner version, so it's got the Blade Runner artwork on it. Um, if you haven't seen Blade Runner, that's another fantastic sci-fi. Uh, but yeah, this is a great little book um, set in that same world. I highly recommend it. This one is an author I've never read before, so I don't know much about him, but Michael Moorcock, and illustrated by Philip James, The Distant Sons. Uh, this one looks like it's about a crew that is leaving Earth to uh, pretty much start a new civilization somewhere, so we'll see what this one's about. This was a good find. Uh, this I have is The Telling by Ursula K. Le Guin. Uh, my brother turned me on to Ursula K. Le Guin a couple of years ago. Um, this is part of the Hainish cycle, so it's about, uh, sort of, uh, what is this? Pretty much an ancient civilization put all these, like, humanoid-type creatures all across the universe, and as space travels become more common amongst these civilizations, they're finding out about each other. So this is connected into that world. So all these books are sort of the same, uh, stories but they're loosely connected um by this uh universe that they've created that she's created uh ursula k Le Guin, if you haven't read her yet please 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 read her she is really really good um everything i've read of hers has been very moving touching and fantastic sci-fi there is one fantasy book i got uh this is again the daw publishers who do the science fiction uh, I have a 30th anniversary of Daw Fantasy that came out. So this is a collection of authors. 
looks like there's tons of people in this book. Um, a lot of names I'm not too familiar with. Uh, so I look forward to reading through some of these and seeing what they are. And lastly, I picked up these books by uh, from the Fantastic Worlds of A. Merritt. Um, so I picked up three of these. I got uh, The Ship of Ishtar. I got Seven Footprints to Satan. Again, a fantastic cover. And The Metal Monster. Uh, these ones, I just they the covers look so great, but it looks like it's about some Americans traveling to... Uh, another universe or time or something i foresee a lot of like you know there's ripped muscles rippling in a pirate sword and some sort of a green blob creature thing so well, hopefully it's good but yes i got sold on these just on that artwork alone seven footprints to satan look at that guy's face i'll try to put up a close-up picture of that guy's face so you can see what it looks like Okay, so that is all of the books that I picked up in the last couple weeks. Uh, a lot of sci-fi, um, but I'm still kicking around with tons of horror, uh, but I do love sci-fi as well. So if you've read any of these, let me know what you think of them. Uh, let me know if the, uh, any of these are worthwhile or if they're just garbage. I'd like to know. <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye.